Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here. In today's video, we'll be reviewing everything covered in this week's dev blog. This week's being dev blog number nine. This dev blog covered their plans for the future as well as update 0.9.5101 that came out slightly before the dev blog. So, with no more further delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> Alrighty, so starting off, we got what's new with this week's update, and then we're going to transfer over to what was covered in the dev blog. So what was added and changed in update 0.9.5.101 was released on Steam on Wednesday, July 20th, and Xbox on July 21st. Well, starting off, we got some more crash fixes. The fixing of a crash on duplicated entities, a crash on ass assessing attachment slots on weapons, and a crash if Sway was wrongly configured at the start of a match, as well as a tweaking on default particles so they have less radical disappearances. We have some changes to multiplayer that should decrease disconnections, as well as moving over to audio, we have a fix to Xbox communication device handling as it's now possible to change the microphone when you change the default device in game. Next up with controls, gamepad combos should now work properly in key binding. Rebinding circuit and actions should also work properly now. Controllers should have a smoother time aiming in general. As well as the default bindings on controllers getting a minor change as weapon inspect is now right button plus X or control plus B on keyboard, with the grenade now being the view button plus B. On top of this, there is now an ability to rebind the hide the objectives and hints button, or really just all those general text that pops up on your screen. It just There's now going to be a button to rebind it to a different button. Um, finally, they finished the update with some changes to modding. Um, first, some changes to allow the helicopter pitch action to work in the helicopter mod, and a support to allow modding of parts of the nav mesh. That is all for this update, so let's get back to the dev blog. The dev blog started off with a quick review of the update before shifting over to their upcoming plans. In those plans, the devs defined three types of future updates. First, minor updates, which is what we have been receiving weekly thus far. Second, major updates. These are going to be bigger updates with more features and content, as well as a huge list of fixes. And finally, milestone updates, which will be massive major updates with specific topic-based features or themes. In order to produce new content, the dev team will be switching from weekly minor updates to bi-weekly minor updates, with major updates being produced in the background. They will also be releasing a update preview build of sorts in the form of a release candidate build, which will allow you to try out updates before they release for the main game. They then restated that they are working on crossplay and that they are almost done testing it, but will likely have to release it for public testing, most likely through that release candidate build, before having it go into all public servers. To finish up, the devs have released a new tutorial to help modders work on animations understand how to use the game's editor, hopefully reducing the difficulty of using the editor and allowing modders and animators in general an easier time. That was all that was covered on the dev blog. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys are excited for the future of this game. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.